What's going on, people? It's your boy, Charles, and I am back. Now I want to do a new series, a series, a new segment called um, Top 10. That is where I rate my top 10 of any given category, and um, you can argue with me, but this is my opinion. And so um, I got this idea from Hanging With B. Uh, she had, like, the top 10 Christmas songs and um, top 10 Christmas movies. Uh, I got it. Also got it from uh, the "I Could Be Wrong But I Doubt It" podcast. I have to cite these things, or I'll be in trouble. So, uh, if you want to, you can check them both out. I enjoyed it immensely. And usually, when they had a list, I had a list. So I'm like, why don't I just share my list with people? And so here we go. Uh, the first one I'm doing is the top ten male R&B groups. Um, so yeah. I'm going to go ahead and start with my honorable mentions. Uh, for honorable mentions, I have Jagged Edge. Because everybody is uh, singing the Let's Get Married song. I think they changed weddings forever with that one. Uh, you know, and they, they wrote their own songs primarily. You know, they had their harmonies tight. You know, they were just a good group out of Atlanta. Uh, as, uh, as so, the second group, I think they're out of Atlanta as well. 112. Uh, they're also in my honorable mentions because Peaches and Cream changed the game forever. Um, I love the vocal stylings of Slim and the rest of the group, and I actually met them, uh, I think, a couple years ago. I don't know. They don't remember me. But um, the OJs. Um, OJs, the older group. Uh, but they are like still touring like today. And so for them to be around as long as they are, or as long as they have been, and have the hits that they had, they definitely need it to at least get mentioned. And um, the last group I'm gonna have an honorable mention for is the uh, Commodores. The Commodores, um, Lionel Richie had a great solo career, but them as a group, Jesus is Love, uh, Zoom, um, Shine On, Brick House, you know, the list goes on. But amazing group. Oh, I also have to mention B2K to honorable mentions because this Millennium Tour is coming up and people are going crazy. It's mad, mad nostalgic. And any group that can cause that much nostalgia, you know. And then, and people ain't even, like, really tripping off Pretty Ricky or Yin Yang Tour. Anybody else on the tour, they just want B2K. And so, them as a group, they have to be mentioned in the list. All right. Now that that's out the way, I'm going to go to my uh, top ten. So holding the number 10 spot is Black Street. Because Black Street, they were like kind of on the, the edge of the New Jack Swing uh, era. You know, they kind of they kind of brought it from the New Jack Swing to real 90s R&B. You know, they were, mellow, they were a little bit more mellowed out. Don't leave me, girl, before I let you go. No diggity. Like, oh, man. It was, it was... It was definitely New Jack Swing in the fact that there was hip hop elements to it, but them cats were singing like they was blowing, and it was funky. Like you just love that jump. Um, number nine, I have to give this to New Edition. Um, everybody saw the New Edition movie, so that was pretty much like the resurgence of New Edition. Uh, they're still touring. You know, you got the Ronnie Bobby Mickey, Ricky Mike tour going on. Um, I think they had a new album. I know Johnny Gill had a new album, but they, it wasn't too long ago they dropped at least a single or something. <laughs> but, you know, when you think about the dress, you know, the suits, the tight dance moves, you know what I'm saying, the hits, and everybody they, uh, they influence. You know, if there was no new edition, there would be no Boys to Men. You know, there would be no new kids on the block. There would be no Backstreet Boys, NSYNC, none of that. You know, new edition, straight straight from uh, Boston, Mass. Uh, number eight, Tony, Tony, Tony. You know, my anniversary was yesterday, so I had to reference Tony, Tony, Tony on this list. It's your anniversary. You know what I'm saying? My boy Raphael Sadiq had amazing. Uh, he has amazing albums. Like if anybody has not bought or heard a Raphael, a Raphael Sadiq album. Like, please do so. Like, that is a that cat is talented. Like, he's just an overall musician. 
uh, just a musical mastermind. Uh, he's, he's one of my like top. I'm gonna have like a top ten list of people I want to sing background for, it, and Raphael Sadiq is definitely on that list. Uh, <laughs> Mint Condition is on my number seven. And yes, I put Mint Condition and Tony 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 like on the same playing field. Like literally, they could have tied. <laughs> Cause I like them like literally just as much. I think Stokey and um, and Raphael got similar voices. Uh, what kind of man would I be? Pretty brown eyes. Like, bro. The only reason I put Mint Condition above Tony 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 is because they called themselves the Ultimate Band, and I believed them. Uh, <laughs> and so yeah, and Pretty Brown Eyes goes so hard, like. I know feel feels good, go hard, and all that good stuff, you know. But, bruh, bring it down. Dun, dun, bruh. Dun, dun. Ah, stoop, 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 bum, 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 Pretty brown eye. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> Let me go to my number six. My number six is uh, The Temptations. I know, you're thinking like, how are they this low or why did you even mention them in this list because you kind of have your 90s thing going on right now. Well, Temptations, they pretty much invented, you know, the soups, the five-part harmony. You have your bass singer, you know, they, they just had the choreography, the tree mic, you know, that sound, the hits, like just that whole Motown. You can't mention Motown without mentioning the Temptations. You know what I'm saying? You had a movie. You know, they had like one of the first biopics. You know? Maybe not. I think American Dream was before them. But still, like, <laughs> the temptations. Like, you just can't deny it. And I ain't too proud to beg my girl. Like, Papa was a Rolling Stone. Can't get next to you. Just my imagination. Bruh. <laughs> like I could, I could go on and on. Like the Temptations got treated like a lady. Come on, man. Come, come on. Don't even shut up. Temptations, like, Temptations. All right, all right, all right. I forgot what number I'm on, but I'm gonna say five. Number five goes to Jodeci. Jodeci is five. One because it hits. Uh, Get on up. You know the remake of Lately. Uh, Love you for life is probably my favorite. Um, they really, you know, they really took ad libbing to a new level. You know, I think they really like cultivated what ad libbing was. You know, like, oh yeah, 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 baby, I'm in it. Like they just and the way, you know, what I'm saying, KC had his jumps like, like JoJo had like the high jump, like you know, his upper register. He, he just hit the notes, and KC just had that voice. You know, like, he just meant it when he sung that thing. Like, like Jodeci just definitely left an impact on just R&B. Like, you can't mention 90s R&B without mentioning Jodeci. Wear shorts with your Timberland boots and, and the coats and, and the hats. You know, like, that. it was the look, it was the swag, all of it, man. Number four, you know, I compare them and Jodeci all the time. <laughs> Drew Hill. Um. By the time Drew Hill got popular, I think it was back to Casey and JoJo. But, um, you know, tell me what you want. Beauty, that's my favorite song. These are the times. Like, honestly, like, bruh, Drew Hill is amazing. Like, if you just really sit and listen to all their hits, even when they came back, like, just their sound and, and the songs and, and just places they went with. Cisco is masterful. Okay, Cisco's solo career, like, you can say what you want about Cisco, but that brother can sing, and he can downright perform, like, the dancing, all that, like, that brother was made to do this, like, I wish he was still relevant, and he would come out with something, because, man, Enter the Dragon, man, come on, man, like, Drew Hill, that's it. Number three, which they should really be number one, but, you know. It's, it is what it is. I just had to put them on. At this point, I was just putting people on the list. But um, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Earth, Wind, and Fire is... I'm going to just say it. They were the ultimate group. Period. They ruled the 70s. 
you know, they had the artwork, they had the style, the costumes, you know, they were like a thousand piece group. <laughs> there were so many of them. Um, musicians. Like, you you can't mention Earth, Wind & Fire without mentioning musicianship. Marching bands from around the world have been playing Earth, Wind & Fire stuff. You know, to this day, you have Earth, Wind & Fire cover bands, you know, at weddings and stuff. Hearts of Fire, uh, Remember, or September, I'm sorry. Uh, just, oh my God. They just have amazing songs. Just amazing songs. Got to get the best of my life. Best of my life. Reasons. Like, come on. Like, yo. Earth, wind, and fire. The elements. Like, these cats. After the love was gone. What will we have is I don't know the words of any of these songs, but. Bruh. Uh, Come on, come on, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Get out of here, bruh. Mm. Number two, number two spot goes to the Jackson Five. Musical family, man. I put them over Earth, Wind, and Fire because they were kids. You know what I'm saying? They were kids. Had the costumes, you know, had, had, the, had, the, had the different suits, dance moves, tight. You know, you had Jermaine and Tito playing the bass and the and lead while singing, not missing a step. You know, um, Jackson's in there too. You had Randy playing the bongos. You know, like these cats were serious. Jermaine had a solo career. You know, Michael had the solo career of life as the king of pop. Like these were ultimate entertainers. They were professional. Like even as kids, like they interviewed well. You know, like they, these cats were nothing to play with ever. Jackson 5, A, B, C, Easy's 1, 2, 3, uh, I want you back, Ben, like, bruh, like, don't get me started on the Jackson 5, like, Dance Machine, you dance, 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 dance machine, um, Never Can Say Goodbye, that was probably my favorite out of the Jackson 5, you know, um, man, Jackson 5, with the, fr with the afros, oh my god, with the afros, Come on, man. Y'all just watch some Jackson 5 clips. And finally at number one. I put them at number one. You know, they probably shouldn't have been above Jackson 5 or Earth, Wind and Fire. But when I think of R&B and when I think about the 90s, I think about this group. I, to me, they had the most hits in the widest span of time. Because a lot, a lot of groups were just hot for just a few, uh, a few years. But when I think of the 90s and I think about my childhood, this is the group I always think about. Like, they're just synonymous with R&B to me. And it is, um, <clears throat> what was it? Mike, Sean, Nathan, and Wanye. Boys to men. <laughs> like, the harmonies, the way they could just do it a cappella, and it sounds so full. Like, Nathan's uh, arranging skills were like just amazing they were unmatched you know and he put himself as like the third banana in the group because people say Wanye is the lead but nigga, hey, they all could sing they all were great vocalists every single person in the group even Mike you know like this, these were not people to play with dang these are not people to play with boys the men um, one of the greatest groups, Motown Philly, Water Runs Dry, End of the Road, um, I Make Love to You. People playing I Make Love to You in at weddings, <laughs> like they mamas and the Lord wasn't there, you know, like that's how you know a group got it. <laughs> like if you could have, if you could play I Make Love to You at somebody's wedding, bruh, look, I'm messing up the camera cause talking about boys to men. But they were that good. Motown, Philly. Uh, it's so hard to say goodbye. Their version. <laughs> like, come on, man. Colors of Love. Four Seasons of Loneliness. Like, uh, how many soundtracks did they hop on? They want everybody's soundtrack. Sorry, I never told you. 
that's my that's my boy's man impression. Then I want you to stay. Now, <laughs> so um, that concludes my list. They may not be the top ten in your book, but you can't deny that every group that I named were um, solid. Now, if you want to put your top ten, leave it in the comments. Debate me. It doesn't matter. Maybe I'm overlooked groups. You know, maybe you're like, what about God? What about Silk? What about H Town? What about blah blah blah? You know, whatever. Just na name it. Name it. You know. But uh, oh my God, this dude about to hit me. But that is my list. Those were my opinions, and I have my reasons for choosing the people I chose. So don't hate. All I got to say. Peace, love.